Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Pastor Jeremy, and I hope you're having a great morning. I hope it's leading to a great week for you. Um, I had a story I wanted to share this morning. I think some of you may have heard me uh, share this story before. And if you have, I invite you to hear it with uh, a new heart and a new mind and new eyes. Um, but the story um, essentially goes that um, one day when I was uh, going through something particularly difficult, I walked into one of my mentor's office. It was the chaplain uh, at my college. And I just kind of slumped down in the chair across from his in his office. And I noticed these two small wooden figurines, one uh, that was kind of balled up in a fetal position, another that was reaching up towards the heavens on their knees. And I asked him about the meaning and significance of those two figures. And um, he looked at me and he said, well, Jeremy, um, God lives, God dwells both in the silence and in the noise. Um, and if you can only hear God in one, there's an issue. Um, and for me, this was, this was extremely permission given because uh, it helped me to see that God can be reached and God can be experienced through exuberant praise and worship. But God can also be experienced. God can also be worshipped in silent contemplation and 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 in and, and inward searching. Sometimes we find God on the inside, um, as opposed to reaching out to the heavens. And sometimes we re we find God reaching up to the heavens, as opposed to um, as opposed to uh, searching on the inside. Um, and so, thinking about that, I also realized that knowing where you're finding God at the moment, whether you're finding God in the silence or in the noise, you have to be present, present in the moment, present in your body, present in your heart, in your mind, in yourself. Um, and so I wanted to share a blessing with you all for presence. Hear now this blessing. Awaken to the mystery of being here and enter the quiet immensity of your own presence. Have joy and peace in the temple of your senses. Receive encouragement when new frontiers beckon. Respond to the call of your gifts and the courage to follow its path. Let the flame of anger free you from all falsity. May warmth of heart keep your presence aflame. May anxiety never linger about you. May your outer dignity mirror your inner dignity of soul. Take time to celebrate the quieter miracles that seek no attention. Be consoled in the secret symmetry of your soul. May you experience each day as a sacred gift woven around a heart of wonder. I hope that your day is a mystery woven around uh, wonder. I hope that, that you are able to explore the symmetry of your heart and soul today and that you're present to see where God is in the silent, in the noise, or in both. God bless you. Have a great day.